Hello everyone, I'm Carol and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I paint a nose in pastel. And my model is this cute little dog named Dex. Dex was painted as a commission for a client in the UK. And um, he was painted in pastel pencils as well as pastel sticks on an 8x10 pastel mat. And before we begin, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell to receive notifications and also give this video a thumbs up. As you can see, the outer edge of his nose is already shaded in with a dark gray pencil just to add shadow and to indicate the darker color of the skin on the outer edge of the nose where the hair will start to grow from. And now I have a black pastel, uh, pastel pencil, it's a Caran d'Ache, and I'm just outlining his nostrils. Nostrils can be a little bit tricky because their shapes are funny. They don't have a um, uniform shape. And sometimes depending on the angle of the dog and the way the light is hitting, you'll see little bits of the inner parts of the nose. So in one nostril, as will be the situation in this drawing, you can see the inside of the nose and the other nostril you won't. So you just need to be mindful of that. What is it that you can see in your reference as you're painting? It's not looking like much of a nose right now at this point and it's rather ugly. It's just a blocking in stage. I just want to mark down my shapes and my main areas and just get everything down before I can start highlighting. And so now I'm just going to outline the whole nose in black and try and get the shape down as accurately as possible while always looking at my reference photo. I always place my center line as well in the middle of his nose. I find this a useful tool to help guide me as I paint the whole dog actually. That little center line will help me judge where the mouth is going and where everything else will fall into position and um, it's a good guide to use. So I always like to put it in first and try and keep it apparent as I'm painting the whole piece. And the bottom of the noses can be tricky as well. They have this tiny little heart shape that can be strange depending on the angle of the dog. So it just takes some pair of good eyes to just continually look at your reference and try and get that little shape as accurately as possible. And now that I've got some black in, I'm taking a blending stump and I'm just spreading it out, just pushing that pastel into the pastel mat. I've got some dark gray underneath the nostril because I don't want to lose the shape of the nostril. If I put the whole nose black right away, I'll lose my nostrils and I don't want that. And I've got the darker gray pastel here as well that I'm just pushing down into the paper with my blending stump. And with my black pencil here, I keep refining my shape until I'm satisfied with how it looks and making sure that it looks like the nose on the reference photo. And I'm just pushing down to get some tiny little fine lines under the nose as well where hair is going to be and where his mouth is going to be. Those will be darker areas, so I'm just getting that down. And this here is a navy blue pencil, the darkest blue in the Caran d'Ache, and I'm just going over everything with the navy blue. I'm just blocking everything in at this point. When painting black objects, keep in mind things are rarely black. There are various colors put together will create the illusion of a black object, such as in this nose. And again, I'm just going to use my blending stump and just push that pastel down deep into the pastel mat. I don't want any loose pastel. You don't want a thick layer of pastels on here. Just a very thin layer just to give you your base.
I'm just extending some of that blue beneath the nose and around the nose where later on I'll be adding the hairs. White hairs will be drawn in under there later on and this blue will serve as nice shadow areas underneath that layer of white hair. And with the same blending stump, I'm just going to gently push out some of the blue into the white hairs just to create fine shadowed areas and give texture to the hair. And now we're just going to clean that up with the stump. I still want to refine my nostrils. The shape got distorted a bit as I was drawing with the other color. So I'm just going to keep adjusting as I go along and push down into the pastel mat. Now I want to get my darker areas under the nose because it's lower down and in the shadowed area it is darker. So I'm just getting that down with my black pencil. I'm still refining the shape. And I'm just um, making fine marks with a light blue Caran d'Ache pencil just to um, start laying down some fine hairs that are under the nose. And it also helps to shape my nose as well. And with the same blue pencil, I'm just going to make a little fine line on the edge of the bottom of the nostril just to indicate that there's light reflecting down on there. And I'm going over that with a darker pencil. I don't want it that bright yet. There are no bright reflections on this nose. It's lower light, so you're not going to see some bright white reflections on this one. Just subtle light. And I'm applying it on the edge of the nose as well. And this is also helping to define the shape of our nose. And I'm just going to push that in again with the stump. And this softens everything up as well. One of the beautiful things about pastel is how you're able to create beautiful soft edges by blending. Now I need to add some warmth to the top of the nose. There are some warmer reflections on there so I'm just going to add a little bit of brown going in little circular motions and you're not really going to see that brown but by the time the whole nose is done there will be warm reflections on top of that nose. So I'm starting it off by adding a bit of brown over the blue. I'm going to start lightening the color now for the reflections and I'm using Caran d'Ache number 746 here which is kind of like a nice beige color or tan color. Dog noses are rather interesting. If you pay close attention to their noses, they're full of tiny little bumps and ridges and patterns. And you just want to put little specks on top just to create little dots going lightly over with your pastel pencil. And I'm just making tiny little circular motions just to try and recreate those little bumps and ridges. And this will also help to show reflective light. And I make sure to just gently push down that pastel into the pastel matte paper with my finger. I don't smudge or blend, I just gently tap and push down. At this point you can already start getting a sense of the reflective light on top of the nose and you could sense a temperature difference and see that the reflections or the reflective light is warm as compared to the rest of the nose. With my blending stump here, I'm just smoothing out the edges of the nostrils and adjusting as I go along. I continually adjust my pieces as I work. And with the lighter blue pencil here, I'm going to work on that reflection again. 
just lightening it up a bit and then I'm going to soften it again with gently tap down. I'm still adjusting those little reflections on top. Just trying to get them just right. And depending on the angle of where your light source is coming from, you want to pay attention to the brightest areas that are being reflected on top of the nose or wherever your brightest reflections are on the nose. And that'll help give you a hint as to where your light source is coming from, which direction it's coming from. And now I'm going to take a light blue and I'm just going to gently go over some of the areas, not everywhere, just over on top, just to bring more light again. And you'll still be able to see the warm tones underneath. I'm not completely covering up those warm tones. We'll still be able to see the warm tones underneath the brighter highlights. And now those lighter blue highlights are really giving definition to the nose. We can get a sense of light. We see the highlights, we see texture, we see depth. And now our nose looks like a real nose. If there were really bright reflections and the dog's nose what was wet, you might be using a really bright white pencil here and there just to indicate a really wet nose. But in this case, his nose is not really wet and the light is lower, so we have more subtle highlights and reflections. If you enjoyed this mini tutorial, be sure to visit my Patreon page where I have a full lesson that's over two hours long where I paint this whole dog from start to finish and there's real time footage so you can see how it's actually done and it's fully narrated. The link will be in the bottom so please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and have a visit to my Patreon page. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks and you guys take care.